Okay, my selections, I'm going to get these. We're here at Smoke Inn in Boynton Beach. And I'm gonna get a glass of red wine and I'm gonna try <laughs> So this is what we call a party in a box. You know, wherever you show up for this thing, this includes two box glasses, a space for a bottle of scotch or whatever you drink, and 10 cigars, but it has space for 20 cigars. A lighter, which is the Envoy Lighter Series, has a lifetime warranty, five torches, and a bullet cutter. We also include a straight cut on that. Nice. You can close this here. It comes in two different skins. This comes in the ostrich skin. Ostrich skin? Also comes in the gold one. I won't die yet, I won't die yet. Three. Your kid's very sociable? Yeah. How's your cigar? Good. <laughs> As is mine. Cool. We've been coming a long time. Great smoke. 14, 15 years. I think this is my 19th pile. A couple of smokes together. Tell me I really need to dip the 
tip and to get the flavors. I don't know how long I was supposed to do it for, but let's see if it entertains the flavor. Welcome. This is your Steve Saka here at the Great Smoke Fest, so we're honored to meet you and get some little nuggets of wisdom. JB from Iconic Smokers, this is my partner Juan Nunez, nice and salute. we are here at uh, Great Smoke 2022, having an amazing time. Obviously, you know we are the Iconic Smokers. Yeah. And we travel with our challenge coin because you know we have to show this off everywhere that we go, and we make sure that you know we take care of our members. So if you're not a member and you want to join the group, go to IconicSmokers.com uh, or you can go to Facebook to the Iconic Smokers and you can join the group and you can see everything and keep up to date with everything that we're doing. You know, we travel worldwide, so we have the Iconic Smokers, the national and the international version. So we do Spanish and other languages as well. So check us out today and see what we do. All right. Pennsylvania, correct? Ooh. Yes. Carlos Fuente Jr. Yeah. Otero Fuente. Um, there's a lot of myths, man myths and legends here today. He was uh, majorly responsible, if not fully responsible, for uh, producing rap relief out of the DR when it couldn't be done. Said it couldn't be done. And uh, now you have Opus X. So we're making sure we have a generational impact. It has to. Yeah. If not, it was really But even if something was a disaster happened tomorrow, there's already thousands of students that are professional. They're coming back to change. They don't need me anymore. <laughs> we just got to keep it going. But they'll figure it out. It's very efficient. It's very so one of the things about Puente Cigars is that they actually fund schools, and that's what we're talking about over there. And I think that's really awesome when cigars have a cause, just like Chapio Collection. <laughs> well, that works even better. <laughs> you have a Facebook group? Yes. Join Aganorsa Acolytes on Facebook. It's our private group. All right. Oh, okay. I'll get somebody. What's up? It's your boy, Shirtless Mike. All right. Hello, enjoy. Uh, no, so we are manufacturing huh? facilities in Danli, Honduras. Okay. Danli is so, yeah, about 45 minutes from the border with Nicaragua, right? Okay. Okay, that's my father. Yeah, pretty iconic. Going. <laughs> 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 okay, you Steve Johnson. Oh, Steve Johnson. Johnson, owner of Fatuaje, married, I believe it's uh, Yanni. Okay. Johnson. They are the son-in-law of my father's cigar. Boom, now you know. That's awesome. So veteran owned, just so you know, Southern Draw. And then do you give back to any veteran charities or? Every cigar line we have is a charity related. And the, and the, and the uh, charities rotate, whether it's Cigars for Warriors, Navy SEAL Foundation. We have a new Border Patrol. We have another Army charity coming up this year. Awesome. That's under our Ignite series. So if you want to know about that, they go on southerndraw.com. Ignite, and that goes all of our charities. Awesome. Three other hands, it's a Nicaraguan charity. So we, everything has a charity line. Espinoza, every day. Uh, it's a Florida, it's a Facebook group. It's been around for about five years. We've got roughly 1,500 members. The only difference between us and everybody else, you got to stay active. If you don't stay active, then you get kicked out of the club. So you have to post stuff? Or you have to post really. or comment at least once every two weeks. So you make the rules. Make the rules. Can you kick people out? Yes, ma'am, all the time. <laughs> I also have a podcast. It's called the Cigar Hustle Podcast. It's on every Tuesday morning. It's all about cigars in the industry. But we talk about the stuff people won't talk about. What flavor profiles the pissed off first off? That's a full-bodied cigar. It's going to be peppery on the front side, and the finish is going to be a little bit of, like, believe it or not, dark cherry and some uh, some chocolate at the end. Okay. Yeah, so it's nice. It smooths out, though. I like all of those things. Should I hang out with you, Michael Noel, who is a craftsman, leather smith? Is that it is. It is the term. I'm, I'm self-taught. I've been doing it about six years. And the majority of stuff I've created is all original. And all I'd like to say that Beautiful. It takes a little bit of time. In the beginning, I wasted a lot of good luck. But now, I think I know what I'm doing. This was not a waste, and this was my purchase for today. So yeah. tell us a little bit about this. So this one is one of the most unique leathers I've worked with. It's actually a shrunken bison. And they tanned it in like a golden yellow. And it'll hold your cutter, 
your lighter, three cigars, and a little cash for credit card behind there. Love it. I'm so excited. This is my take home. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. This is living right here. So three cigars on each side, and behind this one, you put your cutter and your lighter. Mine. Thank you so much. Hi. It's okay. It's a boofy baby. That boof. I think he's pretty inspiring. He, uh, um, he's an ex-Marine, which is amazing in and of itself. Worked for a very high-profile security company in LA, protecting uh, billionaires, basically. And he talked about how he saw all these billionaires work, and their work ethic is compared to none, how hard these guys work. It's cool. He played bass in a band for a while. He's a cool musician. Just a really inspiring dude. And his jewelry is awesome, too. I believe he started out making uh, really high quality jewelry and uh, got hooked up with Davidoff, started the Room 101 brand. And uh, well, the Room 101 was jewelry, and then got hooked up with Davidoff and started uh, learning how to blend cigars. And he did an amazing job.